Hello and welcome back to activity number three. So we've been sorting our fruits and vegetables out and now we're going to have a go at doing some artwork with them. So I've got a few of the different vegetables here that we were looking at and the fruits. Um, I've got a potato, <coughs> there it is, a carrot from the garden, that's our courgette from the garden or, or a piece of it. And then I've also got some celery too. Um, now, we're going to have a go at making some printers using the potatoes. So I made these earlier and the way you do it is you cut your potato in half. You decide what shape you want, something simple like maybe um, a heart or a triangle or a rectangle or whatever shape you like. And then you must get a grown up to help you with this. And you're, the grown up is going to very carefully make the shape using the pointy part of the knife on the potato. Once they've done that and they've dug down a little bit deep, then you can very carefully slice the potato until your shape is cut out. But you must ask a grown up to do that, okay? Now, once you've done that, you will end up with something like this. Can you see that? There's a heart shape on that one. I did a circle on that one, or a bit of an oval. There's a rectangle on that one. And finally, I did a pointy triangle. And once you've done that, you can have a go at printing with some paint. I've just chosen my favorite colors here, yellow, blue, and purple. I've got some paper, I've got a paintbrush, or you could just dunk them straight in. And don't forget your apron, okay? Right, so I'm going to start off with the heart. I'm going to paint on some yellow onto my heart, okay? Or, like I say, you could just dunk it in if you want to. And when I've done that then, I'm going to make that shape on my paper. Now, you could do whatever you like on here. You could just fill your paper up with lots and lots of different shapes. But what I want to do is I want to make a pattern. So first I've done yellow, okay? And then I'm going to put some blue on this one. And I'm going to do a blue triangle and I'm going to print it. Once I've done that, I'm going to go back to my yellow heart to make a repeating pattern. So yellow heart, blue triangle, yellow heart, blue triangle. There we go. Look at my pattern. Now, once you've done that, you might like to have a go at printing with other vegetables. So I've got my courgette here, which I cut up. I could put it in that end. And I wonder what shape that's going to make. It's a semicircle, isn't it? A half circle, whoops. So we can print that on there. Okay, that makes that shape. Or I could paint it lengthways if I wanted to. I could paint my courgette this way. And when I do that, I can really see those seeds shining through. So there we go. Wow, that's a great big long one. And look, I can see the seeds when I printed it. Okay, I might have a go with the celery now. Oh, wow, look at that. Let's print that into yellow. Oh, look at that. That makes like a horseshoe shape. In fact, it looks a bit like a letter U, oh, doesn't it? The sound U, oh, U, oh, U. Oh. That's brilliant. Okay, right, have a go with your printing and post your photographs on the EYFS homepage for us all to see. We would love to see what you've been doing at home. Right, join us very soon for activity number four.